This video explains how to change the size of plots when drawing a grid of multiple plots in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right and we can print the first six rows of this data frame using the head function. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data frame contains two columns called X and Y. And both of these columns contain random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data in a grid of multiple plots using the basic installation of the R programming language, then we first have to specify this grid of plots using the par function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying a two times two grid using the par function and the MF row argument. So after running this line of code, our layout is specified. And if we now draw different plots, you can see at the bottom right that these plots are shown in a grid of plots. So after running line nine of the code, our first plot is appearing at the top left of our grid. Then after running line 10 of the code, a second plot is created. After running line 11 of the code, a third plot is created. And after running line 12 of the code, our final plot is created at the bottom right of our grid. However, at this point, you can also see that the size of all of those four plots is the same. However, in the R programming language, it's possible to modify the size of these plots. And for this, we first need to create a layout matrix, as you can see in lines 14 to 16 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new matrix is appearing at the top right. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a matrix object, which contains three columns and two rows. And this matrix object specifies at which positions which of the plots should be shown. So in this case, our first plot should be shown in the first row and in the left position as well as in the middle position. The second plot should be shown on the right side. The third plot should be shown at the bottom left and the fourth plot should be shown in the middle and on the right position. So after specifying this matrix, we also have to apply the layout function to this matrix to set our layout, as you can see in line 19 of the code. And then in the next step, we can draw our four plots again, as you can see in lines 21, 22, 23, and 24. So after running line 21 of the code, our first plot is created. And you can already see that this plot has a larger width. And this is because I have specified that this plot should be shown at the left position and in the middle of our grid. Now, if we draw the second plot, you can see that this plot is shown only on the right side of our grid. The third plot is shown at the bottom left and the fourth plot is shown in the middle and on the right side of the second row. So in this example, I have explained how to change the sizes of the plots in a grid of plots using base R. However, it's also possible to do this using ggplot2 plots. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 26 of the code. So as a first step, we need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 26 and 27. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 27 of the code. And then in the next step, I'm creating four different plots using lines 29 to 36. So after running these lines of code, four new ggplot plot objects are appearing at the top right, which are called ggp1 to ggp4. And these plot objects contain four different plots that I will show in a minute. However, before we can draw these plots in a grid of plots, we also need to install and load the patchwork package, as you can see in lines 38 and 39 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it using line 39. And then in the next step, we can draw our four plots in a grid of plots without different sizes, as you can see in lines 41 to 42 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right, that our four graphics are shown side by side with equal sizes. 
Now, if we want to draw these plots with different sizes, we first need to specify a design for the patchwork package. And we can do that using the area function, as you can see in lines 44 to 47 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data object called patch design is appearing at the top right. And we can print this design by running line 48 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have specified the positions of our plots. And as you can see, we have divided our grid into four different rows and four different columns. And these rows and columns specify the positions of our four graphics. And then in the next step, I'm simply adding our four plots together. And then I'm specifying the plot layout function. And within this function, I'm setting the design to be equal to our patch design. So after running lines 50 and 51 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see, now our plots are shown with different sizes. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.